we are here in the Relish Kitchen and we are going to do our last Market Fresh meal of the season. Um, so today we have Maria again and what have you chosen as a recipe? Mm -hmm. Today we have a one pan chicken dinner um, featuring some of our seasonally available produce. Okay. And then we'll be making zucchini muffins for dessert. Oh, that looks great. Mm -hmm. um, lots of wonderful vegetables um, and produce available at the farmer's market. Um, definitely take a look out there to see all of the wonderful things that are available at the different vendors that we have. So what do we have um, for our one pan chicken? What kind of vegetables are we using? So today um, I chose some fingerling potatoes, both the white and purple potatoes. Mm -hmm. I chose those because they're easy. You just throw them on the pan. You don't sure. have to cut them up. Just wash them off. And we have Brussels sprouts. Um, we have some orange cauliflower and multicolored carrots and then some apples. Okay. And chicken we have, and again, we're going to use mm -hmm. this recipe to serve a family of four. So mm -hmm. usually, like we mentioned um, in the first episode, you want to keep about a deck of card size for per serving. Mm -hmm. So uh, wonderful. So mm -hmm. all right, let's get started. Oh, we also okay. have some herbs there too. What do we have? Yes, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Nice. Provided by um, one of our newer vendors, an independent uh, Jenny Schmidt. Okay. She has uh, fresh herbs available. Okay, great. So mm -hmm. stop by her. Yes. All right. So the first thing we'll do is um, the coating for okay. the chicken. Get seasoning that goes over the chicken. Mm -hmm. So we'll be using um, two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Okay. And then we'll be using the fresh herbs and garlic. So we'll just need um, a few heads of garlic chopped up. Cloves of garlic. Cloves of garlic, yes. Can I help with the about? herbs at all? You want me to? Yeah, sure. Pick the rosemary off here. You can show us how it's done. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people do dice the rosemary, but it's, you can. This is time. Oh, sorry, the That's time, okay. the rosemary, I see this over mm -hmm. there. Um, the twig, you don't want mm -hmm. necessarily is a little chewy, so. Right. You can kind of just uh, pull them off. So. And usually about a tablespoon of each of those herbs is good. There, that's how it's supposed to go. A mm -hmm. tablespoon? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and then minced garlic. Or you can use, if you have a garlic press, you can use that. Makes things a little bit easier. And we talked about having all these fresh um, veggies available right now, but because it's toward the end of the season, you can still keep uh, pr uh, the produce for longer if you freeze it or if you can it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not a canner by trade. <laughs> My grandmother was, but right. <laughs> lots of, lots of um, ways to preserve different fruits and veggies by either canning or mm -hmm. or freezing, washing and then freezing independently and you know letting the fruit or veggies dry so that they can be pulled out for meals, you know, independently. Right. Corn is one of the easiest things to do. Sure. Just cut it off. The, cut it off and freeze it just like that. I have done canning in the past. It's very labor intensive. Yes. <laughs> Find it easier to just cook it when I have it. Right. It's a good way if you do want to have some of these lovely fruits and veggies though for the winter time at least mm -hmm. you can if you have them frozen or canned you can just pull them out so that you can have wonderful meals like this all year. Yes, I would agree. All right. Does that look like enough? Do you think? A little bit more rosemary. Yeah. Chop up some of the sage. Okay. Want to get that for me? Good to have a nice sharp knife too, makes it a little easier. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to Relish for allowing us to use their wonderful kitchen and all of their cooking supplies. It smells delicious already. Yeah, the fresh herbs really add a lot. You can add fresh herbs on top of the dish okay. um, after it's cooked for serving, if you like. And now you said we're going to put this all on the one pan and then we're going to put it in the oven. Should we be mm -hmm. preheating the oven then? Yes, okay. the oven should be at 450 okay. to, um, 
for the roasting effect of the vegetables. And how long do we need to cook that? It should be done in about a half hour. You'll want the um, chicken to be golden brown on top, of course. Okay. Make sure the chicken is done. Internal temperature, I believe, of 165. I was just going to say the internal. <laughs> if, if you don't have a cooking thermometer, thermometer, that's usually a good way to, <laughs> to tell. Or cut into it and make sure that it's not yeah. pink in the middle. All right. All right. Do you need to prepare the pan any specific way or just put the chicken um, no, right on? Not here? really. The, okay. um, we'll be pouring some. Um, olive oil over the vegetables so uh, before we put it in the oven so that will help. Is that a small enough? Mm -hmm. Great. So a couple things to point out. We do have Brussels sprouts here, which are, um, well, actually this whole entire meal is very high in fiber. Mm -hmm. um, Brussels sprouts are kind of unique. They have um, more protein in as a um, vegetable that you probably aren't aware of, but they also um, are very high in vitamin C, which is one of those things where people typically turn to fruit. Um, right. But you certainly can have that through the Brussels sprouts. And oven roasting them, as Maria is doing, actually helps reduce that um, sulfurous odor that you might kind of associate with Brussels sprouts. So you can get rid of that by adding them to the oven and just letting them roast for a little while. Mm -hmm. So, all right, all right, that looks great. So we're just going to um, coat the chicken. Okay. With the fresh herbs and oil. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say get the messy part, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And then any leftovers we have, we can just pour over the top. Okay. So it doesn't really... And we can season with salt and pepper, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. As we had mentioned, too, in the last few episodes, we always want to make the meals heart healthy as well, which Marie's done a great job at um, giving us some wonderful recipes. And if you're interested in looking at previous episodes, you certainly can go to the SCIO website or the WSCS website and click on any of the previous mm -hmm. episodes to look at the recipes that we used. Mm -hmm. So, yes. all right. So we're going to okay. use carrots as well as the orange cauliflower. Mm -hmm. um, any reason you chose the orange cauliflower? because of the color. It's beautiful, <laughs> right? Especially for fall. I like lots of different Wonder, colors. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this meal again is perfect for that. We always talk about having mm -hmm. your plate colorful, so this is a perfect way mm -hmm. to add all of those colors yes. of the rainbow in here. So wonderful, mm -hmm. looks great. Lots of um, vitamins and nutrients. Um, while Maria is chopping up the cauliflower, the orange color comes from the beta carotene inside, but typically flavor is about the same. Mm -hmm. um, so really just whatever is available at the farmer's market, you could certainly use. If you had different veggies, um, could add those yeah, as well. Yeah, you can add just about anything really. Sure. I guess sort of a rule of thumb when you're roasting vegetables is that they all kind of be the same size so sure. that they cook evenly. The same. Um, yeah. Yep. Sounds good. <laughs> and, and that is the reason why I picked uh, fingerling potatoes. You sure. don't have to do any prep for those. Just throw those on the pan. Right. If you, you can do that now if you'd like. Oh, sure. And the Brussels sprouts are all ready to go. I pre okay. prepared those ahead of time. And you all just washed. Need to, um, yep, they're washed. And then nice. you just half. typically chop the edge off a little bit. Okay. I like the fingerling potatoes. Cute, especially for little ones mm -hmm. too. They can just mm -hmm. put them on their plate. And then you, that should be, yeah. And cut up the Brussels sprouts. Did you just say have them? Or put them on whole? No, nope, just put them on whole. Okay. Um, when you're roasting vegetables, you kind of want just an even layer on the pan. Okay. With a little bit of space in between the vegetables is how you determine how much you need. Okay. Um, if they're too close together, there's too much moisture and they don't roast quite as well. That is a very good tip. Yeah. Did you want me to use all of them or just wait um, until we have the carrots yeah, on? Yeah, I think that's good, good for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
so the purple color um, is unique to the fingerlings as well as to the carrots, the same purple color, um, not dyed. It's just their natural color. Um, they've been around for a really long time. So mm -hmm. do you want these just sliced? Yep. Okay. Have beach. a little bit sweeter taste mm -hmm. than um, some of the just the orange carrots. And then, Brussels sprouts um, tend to have a little nutty flavor too, so that's kind of nice mm -hmm. to mix them together. And then these carrots, I didn't uh, peel. I guess it's personal preference if sure. you want to peel them or not. And um, that's good to point out. I think there are added health benefits there to are. not peeling. Absolutely. Obviously, we, we talked about the fiber, but the nutrients and everything um, inside of the vegetables for optimal um, nutrients and absorption. Obviously, eating the whole vegetable, the flesh as well as the skin. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to grab a couple yeah, more? Sure. I'm going to slot those. I love the purple carrots. So what is your favorite food to eat at the <laughs> farmer's market? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite food. Maybe oh. changes, I was just going to say my change, right? <laughs> Whatever there is there, I don't know. It's all good. <laughs> and Maria has already pre-washed all of the vegetables um, that we're using mm -hmm. today. So when you do get them from the farmer's market, you will typically have to wash them. Yes. And then we're also going to throw some shallots on top, mm -hmm. also available at the market. Oh, purple. Um, I think we've used these in the past too. They're sort of a, the combination of a onion and garlic right. flavor. So you can put as many of those on as you'd like. You don't have to hold back. Sure. Personal preference if mm -hmm. you like more. Mm -hmm. Um, this whole meal that you're preparing today, too, also we talked about fiber. You know, men and women typically um, don't get enough fiber in their diet, so this is a great meal to actually help support. Mm -hmm. um, you can get, with just a cup of um, Brussels sprouts, you can actually get, there's two grams of fiber and three grams of protein in them, um, and having the fiber is actually something that helps reduce your chance of um, diabetes and um, cardiovascular disease. The fiber helps move things through your system so that it keeps, mm -hmm. um, obviously, you nice and regular and you want that, but most Americans, or at least half of the Americans, don't get enough fiber. I think you might have talked about that in mm -hmm. one of the previous episodes. So this is a great way to do that. So you obviously see the number of fruits and veggies, or the veggies. Um, would you like me to cut up the apple as well? Oh yeah, I forgot about mm. the apples. <laughs> <laughs> so these again, from Ada's, right? Um, what, yeah, one of our orchard one of vendors. vendors. Okay. Um, there are lots of apples available this time of year. Um, lots of different options sort of changes every week, so whatever they happen to have available is kind of a nice what I use. Great little sweet to add mm -hmm. to that. Yeah, it does add a nice flavor. And we'll need a little more olive oil okay. to drizzle over the top. All right. Oops. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hopped right on. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And how long did you say about 40 minutes to, that should go in the oven? A half or? hour to 40 minutes. Okay. Um, you just kind of have to keep an eye on it and see how things look. Sure. All right. Looks All right, great. So there put that go. in the oven. For you. So while that's mm -hmm. in the oven cooking, we're going to prepare for the zucchini muffins, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Right. Very easy recipe. Your usual baking supplies. There's the flour. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> yes. How many cups do we use? Looks about two and a half. I was cups. just going to say looks about more than two. Yeah. Great. So we'll put all the dry ingredients together first, and then I'll need another bowl like this okay. for the wet ingredients. Um, 
Then so what did we just... all add in there? So there's baking powder, okay. baking soda, and salt. All right, and we and them together. then cinnamon. Oh, nice. Although I like to use a combination cinnamon. There's cinnamon, cloves, sure. ginger, allspice. Um, but you can use any combination. Wonderful. Oh, there's two teaspoons. I was just going to say all wonderful fall kind of scents to mm -hmm. bring out. Yes. The flavors. Good okay, stuff. great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab yeah, that. Sure. Thanks. Dry ingredients. Yeah. And then we'll mix the wet ingredients together. So we have eggs. Eggs from Emma's. And we do also have eggs available at the winter market to vendors, correct? Yes, we do. Okay, that's great. We can mention too, um, we talked about different ways to store the vegetables. The Most of the vegetables now are root vegetables. As somebody had mentioned too, um, mm -hmm. if you have a cellar, you know, they can be stored in a cool, um, dry area mm -hmm. as long as the vegetables are not exposed to different extreme temperatures. So they will yeah, stay for a they while. They will store for a long time. Right. But you can also w visit the winter market, and a lot mm -hmm. of the vegetables will be available um, during that time as well. And that's located um, at the First Congregational, and that starts in November, right? Yep. And what days are those? Mm -hmm. So the winter market is on Saturdays, the first okay. and third Saturdays, uh, November okay. through April, from 9 to 1 at First Congregational Church on Bluff Avenue, just across from Volrath Park. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. So we still have lots of things available during the winter market, or maybe not quite as many. Right now it's very mm -hmm. abundant with all of the beautiful colors, but yep. we still have things available, so we should definitely mm -hmm. visit there. So the summer market runs through the end of October. Okay. So you'll have the last weekend in October. October is the summer market, and then the next First weekend, weekend is the winter market. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Can I help with anything? So then we have in here the eggs, okay. brown sugar, and then vegetable oil. Okay. Oh. I'll let you whisk in Seems like a lot. <laughs> so zucchini is another one of those versatile vegetables that you can use. Now we're making mm -hmm. it in a sweet dish, but you can also mm -hmm. consider it summer squash. So you can make it like mm -hmm. we use, where you can dice it up and um, could put that if you actually wanted to roast it. And mm -hmm. this is a great way to get rid of um, a large amount of zucchini by shredding it. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you have an abundance of zucchini. Yes. Zucchini bread is a popular option. Right. right. Thank you. <laughs> We'll just mix all these things together along with um, the zucchini and the nuts. We're going to have a cup of walnuts, chopped walnuts here. Okay. Um, and the shredded zucchini. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be using a streusel topping, um, which we featured in our first episode with the this was a strawberry rhubarb yeah. crisp. Yes. <laughs> so long ago. Right. It, it seems like that, right? What a difference even the, no, the uh, fruit and veggies that were available at the first yes. market versus what we yes. have now. It just, the colors are just amazing. Mm -hmm. So I made the streusel um, ahead of time, okay. but just as a refresher, it's just butter and flour and brown sugar. And if you want to actually go back and see how Maria did it, visit mm -hmm. episode one, right? That's right. Okay, just Available online, yep. Yeah. Um, also for this recipe, you can use just white sugar instead of the brown sugar. Um, they're sort of interchangeable. Okay. This has a little bit richer flavor, more of an autumn mm -hmm. flavor, I think. And caramelized Personal nicely. preference. Sure. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then again, I like to make little mini muffins because they're fun and cute and you can hand them out to lots of people. Sure. Um, you can make just a loaf of bread, you can make cupcakes, you can make little mini loaves, um, however you want to do it. The baking time will vary. Right. But as sure. with most other things, you just want to look, check on them, make sure that they turn golden brown. And with cake batter of any sort. Uh, once it starts to pull away from the edges, you know that it's done. That's so. a great tip. I like the small size too, like we had mentioned. Even mm -hmm. if your kids like to have a bite size, they can quick grab it and mm -hmm. something nice and easy. Wonderful. Yeah. You have two free so, butter? Uh, yes, I did butter those um, ahead of time. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
don't want the muffins to stick. Okay. I also love my scoop um, for consistency. Right. It makes things easy. So it's just, uh, I think this is a tablespoon, if I'm not mistaken. Sure. Um, and what temperature do we need to have the oven preheated to 350? 350. Okay. And like I said, the baking time will vary. These mini muffins don't take long at all. Maybe about 10 to 15, 12 to 15 minutes or okay. so. So just in time, if we pull the chicken mm -hmm. out, we can eat the chicken and then the muffins will be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't take long at all. And then with these, I like to, um, like I said, put a little of the streusel topping okay. on top. So a little bit goes a long way. It does. That's great. Mm -hmm. Easy little. Use my fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just a little coating there. And a few walnuts on the top. Yes. You want to grab those? I like to put one sure. right in the middle. Nice little touch. And obviously, we want to make sure our hands are clean. Both Marie and I have washed our hands, so. <laughs> Many times. Many times. <laughs> Whenever you're working with food, mm -hmm. you certainly want to do that, especially when we were prepping the raw chicken. You want to keep that. And then I like to add, sprinkle a little um, cinnamon sugar on top of the nut just for a little caramelizing effect. I get nice and crunchy, delicious. Great. <laughs> All right. And that. And then I'll just put these in the oven for about 12 minutes. All right. And the chicken looked just about done. It's pretty close, probably another maybe five or 10 minutes or so. Um, so while we're waiting, why don't you tell us a little bit too? I learned something new. Your parents owned a supper club. So that's how Maria became such yes. a wonderful chef, right? <laughs> <laughs> Has a lot to do with it, yes. yes. Both of my parents were very good cooks. My mother was also a very good baker. Very so nice. I started baking at a very young age. <laughs> yeah. We've had great recipes, so we appreciate that, and thank yeah. you. So I really, I think we've got lots of things for you guys to try. Um, certainly, like we mentioned, go back to the um, website to check out the episodes. Um, be sure to join us at the remaining farmer's markets that are at Fountain Park as well as at um, Fairfield Plaza, and then um, starting the winter markets. And again, when are those? On Saturday, first and third Saturdays, November through April. Okay, great. to 1 o'clock. All right, very good. And will you be available at the winter markets as well? I will be there. All right, great. So <laughs> look for Maria if you have any questions and or she also has the recipes available there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks great. Yes, it does. It smells good too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see how it's nice and brown from the oven roasting. Wonderful. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, and let's check. We have one set of muffins done. These are just about done. Almost. A couple more minutes Another for that. Or two. Sure. I guess we can serve this up. And toast to our last episode, right? Yes. <laughs> toast away. You get a little bit of everything. Right. <laughs> yes, and this is perfect here. I can hold that for you. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. So now what are you going to do if you're not doing um, market fresh meals? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, open your own restaurant? <laughs> I don't think I have that kind of time. Yeah. As lovely as that would be. <laughs> Sounds awesome. All right, let's try it. All right. It's going to be hot. Dig in, I know. <laughs> mm. Very good. Perfect. Mm. So, <laughs> happy eating. <laughs>
Thank you.